Hey guys, how's it going? Shinbob here, and today we're back with another Frontier Defense map guide. And today we're going to be taking a look at Homestead. It's uh, another one of the bigger maps, uh, probably the opposite to Blackwater Canal. A lot more similar to Forward Base Kodai, except that the bottlenecks that we have on this map, they're a little bit different. They're sort of spread along the center of the map, so enemies have a wide open space. They get funneled into these bottlenecks and then there's sort of another wide open space for them to spread into after that and that can make things a little tricky at times but we're going to talk about ways to get over that. I know this map can be a little bit overwhelming when you first play it the first couple of times um, or if you're not really organized but once you work out a few good tactics then it becomes quite simple and, and one of the funner maps I think. So let's take a quick look at the main spawning locations that we want to be worried about um, for this map and they are here back over near this bridge, uh, here over near this little creek thing, and then out the back here in this big open field where only Ronin should really bother to go. So as far as uh, sort of utilities and stuff on this map, purchasables, we want to be focusing on turrets over arc traps again, um, mainly because there's a lot of flies that come in this, this map and the turrets are really good for picking them off. So if you are going to put down arc traps, I recommend putting them just here on sort of the enemy side of this big pillar in the middle because um, a lot most of the Titans I would say funnel through this way anyway so to slow them down a bit here and sort of stack the damage um, that's the best way to go about it I think and for turret locations I'd recommend putting them back here slightly elevated back where I've got mine on top of these sort of trucks and stuff that way they can stay off the ground and not get damaged by grunts and stuff as much so they can pick them off easily and they're really good for picking off the flyers that come through once they've got through this bottleneck if they get through the bottleneck as you can see the gameplay in the background while not being a perfect example of everything I'm saying it's more of a do as I say not as I do type guide but you can see that these turrets do get a fair few kills so these are good locations and no one else on my team put turrets down which is super frustrating but that's the uh, the nature of playing with randoms so now that we've got that out of the way and the spawn locations um, there's another really important sort of I guess spawn location or, or location of interest that I wanted to mention and that's over here on this pillar here um, sort of to the left and over on this rock down lower here, um, this is where the spicy boys will be coming from. There'll be reapers that jump up on here uh, at least once every round and they'll shoot out some spicy boys and you can kill them before they get to these locations where they'll start shooting them out but as long as you're aware and you hear them coming and you kill them as quick as possible, they won't get out too many ticks and do too much damage. Another thing that's kind of specific to this map is that there are a lot of uh, sort of grunts and foot units that come in and mortar spectres. They're a pain in the ass because sometimes the only way to kill them and get a line of sight on them is to get out of your titan. So don't be afraid to do that because they will usually come in early in the round. So there's no real danger of getting killed by an enemy titan if you get out to kill them. So that can sometimes be the quickest way. Half the time, just jump out, kill them straight away, get back in your titan, good to go. Another thing to worry about on this map too is there's a fair number of uh, mortar titans that will spawn out on the right hand side and left hand side outside spawns. So Try and get over and kill them as quick as possible. Same as any Mortar Titans and Mortar Spectres. They will do a lot of damage before you even realize what's going on. So get over there and prioritize them if none of your teammates have. All right, so we've covered Arc Traps, Turrets, Spicy Boys, and Mortar Titans. So now we're going to talk about our own Titans and the best ones to use and best sort of team setup. So like usual, Frontier Defense, you can't go past Scorch. Um, he is actually really good on this map for locking down that little open area after the bottleneck and before it in case anyone gets through. He's also really good at picking off the flies that come through this middle bottleneck so I actually learned this tactic the first time I played this map and we just happened to have two scorches and one of the randoms I was playing with was like guys stand in the middle and just put up your flame shield when they come through and sure enough it worked it just melts them. So it's a really good tactic for saving yourself some pain of those flies getting through and damaging the harvester. Um, like in the background gameplay here, you can get away with doing it um, with just one Scorch, that's fine. Um, in, there's nothing wrong with running two Scorches, but probably leave that slot open for another type of Titan. The next Titan I would actually recommend on this map, um, don't recommend him on a lot of maps, but on this one particularly, Ronan can be quite good. Um, as his roaming style suits, sort of heading out the back to where that big open field spawn is for the enemies, and you can just start slashing and hacking them up before they get anywhere near the middle section and the Harvester. Especially if you're running Highlander, um, like a Nick in one of Iniquity's videos, he just, he killed like nearly every Titan in the wave just from like killing one, resetting his sword core and just going after the rest. And 
there's plenty of space to not sort of get damaged by arc ronins and stuff like that so you can just jump between enemies and not have to worry about taking too much close range damage I actually really like North Star for this map too. I mean, I like North Star for most maps, but particularly for this one because it is quite large and you can get some nice long range shots on the enemies. You can use your rockets to take out mortar titans that are on roofs if you just shoot it near them and the explosive range should take care of them. Um, and then when enemy titans start to bottleneck and stack in the middle here, you can shoot through all of them with your railgun and get a lot of damage, like topping the damage meters and competing with things like Scorch. I'd probably put Tone on the same tier as North Star as well. I mean, all the Titans are pretty close on this map, but North Star and Tone are great long range damage dealers, so they can sit back and catch anything that does slip through, um, but still do a decent amount of damage to enemies that are long range. And they can be fairly mobile too. Now that I'm thinking about it, most of the Titans really are quite good on this map. Um, Probably the only lower tier one might be Ion, simply because the long range damage that uh, she can do isn't too crash hot. You sort of need to be mid to close range to really push out as much damage as you can with that splitter rifle. So maybe not the best pick for this map when you've got so many other good options like Monarch, who with a few upgrades can do some really good long range damage. Great to move around the battlefield and stay alive for long periods of time. Legion, fantastic long range damage, sustained damage. Uh, bottleneck damage when enemies stack in there, similar to Scorch as usual. Um, and when that smart core comes on, really good for picking off like grunts and flying drones and things like that. So uh, Legion, definitely another top tier pick. For this map, it's really up to you to be honest, um, what you're comfortable with and just making sure that you play to the style of your Titans. So Legion and Scorch, sit back and kill enemies that sort of stack up in bottlenecks. Ronin roam around and try and get some cheap kills up the back. North Star and Tone, long range damage, probably similar to Monarch who can be long and mid range damage. And uh, Ion, if you do play Ion, just um, try and use your close to mid range damage splitter rifle, pretty much. So guys, that's the main setup for your Titans and stuff. And the general tactic is to just prioritize your arc traps on the outside lane so you don't get caught off guard with the flank while you're focusing on the middle. Put turrets back towards the harvester so that it can catch any drones to get through and try and bottleneck people into the middle section. Focus on Mortar Titans and Spectres, as well as Spicy Boys, and you should have a pretty good time. I hope this guide does help you guys out. Um, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. It's really appreciated. Even subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, just keep doing what you're doing, guys. Cheers.